If this is what 99 looks like, sign me up. Meet Bernice Underwood. She's fit, fabulous, and fierce. I like fruit, vegetables, and grains. Now meet her best friends, Leona Barnes, Gladys Butler, and Ruth Hemet. Ruth just turned 100, and the others will reach the magic number in the next few weeks. They've been besties for some 94 years. We've been knowing each other all our lives, and we've been close all the time. They grew up in Southwest D.C. in the early 1900s. Well, times have really changed because when I was young, it was horses and wagons. The glue that has held their friendship together, their faith. All of our parents were friends, church people, church-going people, and we, that kept us united together. Bernice, Gladys, and Ruth attended Mount Zion Baptist as children and Leona would join them in the evenings after homework and chores. I would have been a member of Zion had my mother let me go. Attend. But she said my place was at Mount Pariah, and she felt that way about it, and that's where I stayed. In those days, Sunday was a day of rest and worship. Oh, play dodgeball. Couldn't play on Sunday now. No, <laughs> our parents said no, we Sunday didn't. was a holy day, we played baseball. and you we could not play ball. no ball or nothing on no Sundays. We played hopscotch. Looking back, they had no idea they would live this long. I have known of no one in my family to get to this age. So, what's their secret? It's no secret. It's only the grace of, by the grace of God that we are here, and I praise him every day and thank him every day for being here because he is the only one that's keeping me. Look, honey, ain't nothing like faith in God. You got to have faith in God. I'm sorry for preaching, but I just, I just, I just have to tell it. All of the women, except Mrs. Hammett, stay active. She's suffering from early onset dementia. But when we asked about her favorite hymn, she perked up and began singing. I surrender My mother's a very quiet person, but we attended church every Sunday, every Sunday, um, without fail. Um, uh, she instilled in us in a very early age that faith was very important. They've all enjoyed rich, full lives. Each pursued careers, got married, had children, grandchildren, and in some cases, great-great-grandchildren. This is Tony, my first grandson, and I love him to death. The most important things that I've learned from her is how to be strong and how to care for others. One of the things that she instilled, too, was the fact that I'll, you may have difficulties, but you overcome that. You put God on your side and you keep it moving. And now they're famous. CBN News recently posted video of the women on our Facebook page. The clip got more than 13 million views and comments from people around the world. It also led to interviews with other national news outlets, book offers, and speaking engagements. I don't like too much uh, attention, but I, I'm enjoying this. They were honored at a huge celebration at Zion Baptist. My birthday wish for each of those ladies individually and for all of them collectively would be that in some way, in some way, they have had an opportunity to experience the fruit of the seeds that they've spent a hundred years sowing in this community and in this church. We played together. We did everything together. That's why Bernice and Ruth Hammond and Gladys Buffett, all of us, we were close friends. Sadly, <laughs> Mrs. Barnes passed away shortly before our story aired. Yet she vowed to enjoy every single minute until God called her home. It's just a blessing from God that we're here. 
and, and we, we thank each day as it comes, and I do. And each day that I wake up in the morning, I say, well, thank you, Jesus. You know, this is one more day you have given me. Because he didn't have to do it. Knowing that greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Charlene Aaron, CBN News.